Yes, yes, students. We'll continue the discussion of exercise eleven point three. See here, fourth question we have to discuss, right? So let us start the discussion of fourth problem. If tan A is equal to cot B, one condition is given. Tan A value which is equal to cot B value. Prove that A plus B is equal to ninety. So what we have to prove here? A plus B which is equal to ninety degree we have to show. So for that tan A result you all know cot ninety degree minus A. Okay, so call this equation as equation number one. This is according to trigonometric ratio of complementary angles. Tan A value which is equal to cot of ninety minus A. Now what is given actually tan A is equal to cot B also given. So let us take that tan A is equal to cot B given statement as equation number two. Now, so things which are equal to the same thing are equal to one another. No, so you both are equal to tan A only. Therefore, tan cot of ninety degree minus A is equal to cot B. So just now we applied one concept. No, the cot and cot function we can strike out, cancel in LHS and RHS part. So therefore, ninety minus A is equal to B. So what we can write? Ninety minus A and B both are acute angles. That's why ninety minus A, which is equal to B, we can take. So ninety degree, which is equal to B here only, just to take this minus A to this side, then plus A. Therefore, B plus A is equal to ninety degree. That is A plus B is equal to ninety degree. Very simple problem. Is that clear, students? So just by taking equation one and two and applying axiom one, so we can reach the proof that a plus b, which is equal to ninety degree. I think you don't have any confusion regarding that. Okay, now we'll move on to the fifth problem discussion. Yeah. So here we have fifth question. See, fifth question is like this: If secant four a, which is equal to If secant 4a, which is equal to cosec of a minus 20 degree, so this is the given condition. Secant 4a, which is equal to cosec of a minus 20 degree, where 4a is an acute angle. 4a is acute angle. Okay, so here 4a in the sense acute angle in the sense is either 0, 30, 45. 5. Find the 60 degree. Find the value of a. You may have to find the value of a. Same to sign like example problem and fourth question. So now, what is given that actually secant four a is equal to cosec a minus twenty degree. What we know about secant angle, secant a is equal to cosec of ninety degree minus a. We know that one. And what is given actually cosecant four a. So cosecant four a. When we write this a as four a, what expression will get actually cosecant four a is equal to cosec. Uh, sorry, secant four a is equal to cosec of ninety degree minus four a. Then cosecant four a is given that secant of uh, secant four a, which is given that. Cosec of a minus twenty degree. Here you just observe. You can take this one as equation number one and this one as equation number two. Just compare equation one and two. Secant four a is equal to cosec of ninety degree minus four a, and also that same secant four a is equal to cosec of a minus twenty degree. So again, axiom one we have to apply. So then we'll get cosec ninety minus four a is equal to cosec of a minus twenty degree. So here ninety minus four a and a minus twenty degree both are acute angles. That's why here cosec cosec function cancelled. The ninety minus four a is equal to a minus twenty degree. Then again same procedure joining. Okay, taking the like terms one side. 4a and a one side. Then it is 3a no 5a no. So 90 minus 4a, which is equal to a minus 20d. Let us keep this a as it is. Minus 4a when transferred to this side, then it is plus 4a. Then 4a plus a is 5a. Then here 90 minus 20 when it comes to this side plus 20. 90 mal uh, plus 20 is 110. 110 is equal to 5a. Then a is equal to one ten divided by five. That is twenty two degree. A value is twenty two degree. Is that clear, students? Yes. A value is twenty two. Twenty two into four. How much? Akshay. Twenty two into four. Here, four a is an acute angle. Eighty eight degree. No. 
secant 88 degree 88 88 40 a is an acute angle okay so a is equal to 22 degree is that clear students yes now so sixth question if a b and c are interior angles of a triangle a b c show that sin of b plus c divided by 2 which is equal to cos a by 2 okay a b c are interior angles of a triangle a b c or three angles of a triangle okay show that sin of b plus c which is equal divided by 2 which is equal to cos a by 2 we have to take so for that let us take sin a relationship sin a which is equal to cos of 90 minus a we all know that one so now in a place something different value is there in a place b plus c divided by 2 is there let us substitute a as b plus c divided by 2 okay sin of b plus c divided by 2 is equal to cos of 90 minus a value is b plus c divided by 2 now sin of b plus c divided by 2 is equal to cos of here by taking the LCM 2 and 1 LCM is 2 then here what happened actually 180 minus B plus C. So next step what is the next step sin of B plus C divided by 2 which is equal to cos of here 180 minus B plus C they are writing as A divided by 2. How it is possible actually 180 minus B plus C suddenly in the next step it is angle A. How can we replace that one? Yes, using the angle sum property of a triangle. So they have given that A, B, C are interior angles of a triangle A, B, C. No? Then angle A plus B plus C is equal to 180 degree angle sum property of triangle. Now, let us keep this angle A this side only. What result you can see? 180 is in RHS only. B plus C, it is transferred then minus of B plus C. Correct, no? Yes, therefore, 180 minus B plus C, which is equal to angle A only, no? So, that's why we are replacing this as cos of A by 2. Very simple, very, already our proof is over. Because I know B plus C divided by 2 is equal to cos A by 2. We got the solution, no? Sin of B plus C divided by 2 which is equal to cos of A by 2. So actually ABC are interior angles of a triangle ABC. Yes, we use the triangle property also. So use, we use the given condition also. So just very simple. With the help of sin A is equal to cos of 90 degree minus A. So we proved that sin of B plus C divided by 2 which is equal to cos of A by 2. Is that clear students? Yes, this is about the sixth question. Okay, this is about the sixth question. Now, actually today for most something happened. Where is that actually? Yes. So, we have the last question, seventh question, simple question. Okay, so we'll finish uh, seventh problem. Express sine 67 degree plus cos 75 degree in terms of trigonometric ratios of angles between 0 degree and 45 degree. Again, something recalling, no? So, yesterday, not yesterday, okay? So, Saturday we discussed, no, actually, this type of problem, example problem. Sine 67 and cos 75, we have to express in terms of other trigonometric ratio, sine and cos with variable right? Then the values must be 0 and between 0 and 45 degree. So what we have to do? We have to write sin 67 in the different way. So that is sin 67 which is equal to sin of 67 barbeko on tandre. 90 yali is to subtract marbeko. So sin of 90 minus 23. Sin 67 we can write it as sin of 90 minus 23 alva. Just we are changing the 67 as 90 minus 23. Then now apply the identity that one. Sin of 90 minus 23 is cos 23 now. So we can choose this one as A. So then A value this is sin of 90 minus 23 in the sense cos 23. Sin 67 it can be written as cos 23. Next cos 75 you take. Cos 75. Cos you just keep as it is. 75. 90 minus 15 is 75. Yes, 90 minus 55. 
cos 75 we can write it as cos of 90 minus 50 so cos of 90 minus 50 we can apply the uh, property that sin 50 so then sin 67 degree plus cos 75 degree which is equal to here cos 23 degree plus sin 15 degree 23 and 15 lies between 0 and 45 now then here sin and cos so cos sin 67 degree plus cos 75 degree which is equal to cos 23 degree and sin 23 degree so this is we express the given trigonometric ratio in the different terms of angle between the zero degree okay sin is do different type of cos then cos become sin okay so 23 and 15 that is in between zero and 15 degree so this is about the explanation part of the exercise 11.3 so if you are having any confusion in exercise 11.3 now you can ask your doubts first yeah, now it's time for the discussion. Otherwise, we'll end the class because so if I start the new topic, then we will be, it will be half. So we cannot complete the complete topic of last part, the trigonometric identities. So that we will start in the fresh mode tomorrow. Okay. So that is the last part of your trigonometry chapter tomorrow. So uh, tomorrow actually we can finish the chapter, but so one more day we have to spend for the discussion of that last exercise chapter. That's why uh, when Wednesday, Wednesday we can finish the trigonometric chapter. Today is Monday, no? So Wednesday we'll finish the trigonometry chapter. Is that clear, students? Yes. Now, if you are having any doubts regarding the trigonometric ratios of complementary angles, you have the third problem. Today's third question. One second. Yeah, third question. Third question is like same, no? Yeah. So we'll discuss the third question. This is for Preeti. Okay. So if tan 2a is equal to cot of a minus 18 degree, where 2a is an acute angle, find the value of a. Same to same example problem. Okay. Tan a is equal to cot 90 minus a. We all know the property, relationship. Okay. Now, tan 2a. Tan 2a, we can write it as cot of 90 minus 2a. Call this equation as equation number 1. Then tan 2a is equal to cot of a minus 18 degree. This is given actually. Equation number 2. Equation 1 and 2, you just compare. Things which are equal to the same thing are equal to one another. These things are equal to the same thing that is tan 2a. So that's why we can got the write the result as cot of 90 degree minus 2a, which is equal to cot of a minus 18 degree. Is that clear? Cot of 90 degree minus 2a is equal to cot of a minus 18 degree. So now 90 minus 2a and a minus 18 degree both are acute angles. That's why this cot and cot we can strike out. Then 90 minus 2a is equal to a minus 18. 90 minus 2a is equal to a minus 18 in the sense. Next step and all you all know, no? Just grouping the like terms one side. Then a you will get as 36. So this is about the third part explanation. Okay. Yes. So now do you have any confusion? Yes. Fatafat. If you are not having any doubts, then we'll end the class. So tomorrow we'll meet with the new topic. Pritam. Nine standard students, no? Yes. See your students. So no doubts. If you are not having any doubts, then we'll end the class.